Folks, I don't spend a lot of time talking about ESCs and motors on this channel, and the main reason I do that is because I feel like Ryan Harrell, Quad McFly, over at miniquadtestbench.com, does such an exceptional job of testing ESCs and motors and props that I just don't even know what I would have to add to the conversation. Um, but I do have an, an ESC to show you today, and it's something a little bit different brings to the table. This is the X Racer Q25 Quadrant ESC. It supports 4 to 6S, so up to 6S. It is a BL Heli S ESC, which is, of course, what you want. And I'm told by FPV model that it supports D-Shot up to D-Shot 600 out of the box with no modifications. So it certainly seems like this ESC has everything you could possibly ask for in an ESC. But here's what's interesting about it and the reason I'm showing it to you today. This ESC has motor outputs. And it's put the signal wires, these are the signal wires here, in a little bit of a strange place. And it also has a hole cut out of it. Why has it got the hole cut out of it? And it's got this positive and negative pads here. What the heck are those for? The reason for that is that you can use this ESC as you see it here, like a normal ESC that you mount on the arms of your copter. Or you can put four of these ESCs together, you can solder them together, and you can make them into a 4-in-1 ESC. Now that is really freaking clever. Uh, what's clever about this is that the, the downside of a 4-in-1 ESC is normally that when you damage one ESC, you, you smoked all of them, and instead of spending maybe 15 bucks to get a new ESC, you got to spend 45 or 50 bucks to get four new ESCs. And also, it's a real hassle to desolder all of your motors and all your signal wires if you only smoked one. Well, it certainly seems at first glance like the Q25 is giving you the best of both worlds. You have the compactness of a 4-in-1 ESC, but in theory, at least, you have the ability to desolder these pads and take one of these ESCs out and replace it if you so desire. When I first saw the Q25, I thought to myself, well, how do you buy spares? Do you, are you going to have to buy like a, a, a front left and a back left and a front right and a back right and keep those on stock? And if you, if you burn out a front left, but you've only got a spare of a back right, you're just out of luck? That, kinda, that, that would be kind of dumb if it worked that way. Well, fortunately, FPV model are smarter than I am. They have come up with a really, really clever scheme here. And I discovered this the first time I tried to put this together to make this video, and I couldn't get them to line up. And the reason I couldn't get them to line up is because I was trying to put them all on with the same side up. That's not how they're designed to go together. The way they go together is that two of them are capacitor side up and two are capacitor side down. They've got silk screens on both sides. So whichever way up it is, you're going to find it easy to work on. And if you need a spare, See, it just flips over and it'll go in either position. So this side up, it goes in these two diagonal positions, and this side up, it goes in these two diagonal positions. So when you have a spare on hand, it can take the place of any of the four positions. And that's the kind of thing I wouldn't have thought of, and that's why I'm not an ESC designer. I would have designed four different ones and uh, made a whole lot of trouble for my customers. What are some downsides of this setup compared to a 4-in-1 ESC? Well, one downside is that it doesn't have that 4-in-1 signal wire that many 4-in-1 ESCs have. It looks something like this, and some flight controllers even have an input for this same connector so that instead of soldering all your wires between your 4-in-1 ESC and your flight controller, you just plug it in there, plug it in there, and you're good to go. No soldering. Very, very nice. Uh, even in the case where the flight controller doesn't have the header, which many of them don't, what I've done is I've just snipped it off, plug into the ESC, and then solder it to the relevant places, and it makes it very easy. If you do need to switch the ESC, at least you don't have to desolder these wires. So this doesn't have that. Another thing about this board that you should know is that unlike many 4-in-1 ESCs, it does not have a separate 5-volt regulator. So you will need some way to get 5 volts for your flight controller, and if you have any 12-volt accessories, some another 12-volt uh, regulator. So what that might make you think is, well, do I need to get a PDB and put it underneath this? And then I've got a three-layer stack. I've got the PDB, I've got the ESC, and then I've got the flight controller. At which point, have, ah, that's kind of, you kind of want to save space, right? Although a three, a three-layer stack's not the end of the world. Probably the best thing to do with this setup would be to combine it with a flight controller that has a built-in voltage regulator, like, for example, this Omnibus F4. And then you can simply feed VBAT into the flight controller and get and use its voltage regulator to power things like cameras and so forth. If you did need to have a separate uh, a PDB and, and voltage regulator and so on, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So that is the X-Racer Q25A Quadrant ESC from FPV model. Supports up to 6S power, BL Heli S, D-Shot 600 out of the box with no modifications, uh, and gives you the choice of installing it either as a 4-in-1 
but still having the ability to swap out a single ESC if you damage anything, or installing it as individual ESCs on the arms, if that's what suits your build the best. Very, very interesting package. Of, I'm actually going to be putting this in my next build, uh, which will be coming up sometime in late January, I think. So we'll get a sense of just how easy it is to work with. One of the outstanding questions that I haven't answered yet is, if you are going to solder it up, this is not sitting flat. How do you get it to solder flat and not be... I don't know. I'm going to figure something out, and I'll uh, probably make a video about it. That's going to be all for now, though. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.